Welcome back. Hi, guys. Idol Master. Hi. One for all. Hi. Hannah's happy. Oh, yes. I am extremely happy to be finally doing this with you girls. Yay. So, it's time to have beaten the Idol Extreme. Here we go. The Idol Extreme. Chihaya has climbed up through the ranks all the way to that legendarily challenging festival and punched through it with style, securing inextinguishable, everlasting fame for herself. A living legend of the Idol industry. With her absolute mastery of her craft, it wasn't long before all those who would dare challenge this singing empress learned to fear her very presence. Which movie do you think we should see next, producer? Personally, I was thinking something along the lines of that one would be nice. Isn't all that equipment terribly heavy, producer? I'd be more than happy to help you carry half of it. Give it here, please. Including, not least among which, her very own producer. Order this salad for me too, will you, producer? The ingredients appear quite wholesome, and it looks gorgeous on top of that. <laughs> uh, Chia, Chia Hi, <coughs> could I get you to hold up for a minute, please? The sheer disconnect is making my brain hurt. Disconnect? In what context, please? You! I have no idea how you can prevent present such an over-the-top extreme idol persona to the media, then turn around and act like this absolutely nothing out of the ordinary teenage girl all other times. I would presume it to be a matter of course that Blech. I would presume it to be a matter of course that my behavior isn't anything out of the ordinary when I'm not working though. More importantly, what shall we plan for next weekend? It's starting to look like we may be granted a rare off day. Should we indeed find ourselves with a vacant schedule, there's a certain place I have in mind. God damn, Chihaya. You've really changed. You never let yourself take such a cheerful, carefree attitude towards anything before. Least of all time off from work. You think so? I don't get the sensation that I've particularly changed myself, though. It's not as if I'm forcing myself to appear excessively cheerful. I'm simply doing what comes natural. Hmm. So this is who you always were deep down, then. Well, it's good to see you at any rate. Anyway, while we're waiting for our food, I was hoping we could hash out a few details for your next live real quick. <laughs> uh, what sort of set list would you prefer? You don't have to give me an exact list of songs, just a general idea would be good enough for now. Jihaya? Hey, what is it? You started pouting on me all of a sudden. Is there something you're not happy about? Yes, there's something, producer. There's a time for business and a time for recreation. And I'd prefer that you keep proper track of which is which. You and I are not on the clock right now. I have no desire to discuss work with you. There's any number of things we could be talking about instead. Okay... God, I never would have imagined hearing those words out of your mouth before now. It really speaks to how self-assured you've become, that you can put away the music and do other things that make you happy. Yes, I am happy right now, there's no doubt. But even affording myself that, I no longer feel that my singing ability is being left to rot away. Because it just so happens that I found another ample source of strength to sustain it in the meantime. <laughs> what do you suppose that is? Um, another source of strength? <laughs> <clears throat> You're seething disgust with me, maybe? Precisely. I see you understand quite well. Oh, come on! I was just being facetious! How the hell is that right? And I take that back. Honestly, producer, I was just complaining about it. 
Lately, when you and I are together, it seems all you want to talk about with me is work. What was that point you were so insistent upon when devising your management policy for me? Mister, I wouldn't be comfortable assigning the highest priority to your singing. I'm sorry, there's just a lot more work to talk about now with you being such a highly sought after idol. Besides, besides, I'm still not used to being able to engage you with small talk. Guess I really need to start working on that. Please do. Although, the road to happiness is truly one without end, isn't it? Once you've had your first taste of it, you keep wanting to press ahead for more and more. Down. As long as this keeps up, it's doubtful I'll have to be concerned about exhausting my supply of worthwhile challenges anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> Climbing all the way to the top is hardly game over, after all. Just lets you see that much better how far the world spreads out all around you in every direction. Producer, once we're done eating, there's some place I'd like to stop by with you on the way back, if I may. Did I miss something? Oh, no, it was uh, two lines that I squished into one by mistake. And so, she led us to the beach. Lovely scenery, isn't it? When I gaze- oh, hold on. Lovely scenery, isn't it? When I gaze out at it, it's almost as though I can feel myself returning to a more innocent time. Producer, what do you suppose lies across the sea from here? On the other shore opposite us? I know. Well, I don't suppose, Jihaya, I know. We're facing east, so... Across the sea from this spot is most likely America. America? I see. Do you remember when you told me you wanted me to dream of even bigger and better things for myself? Well, truth be told, I've already found a new dream I want to pursue. It's a dream very close to my heart, that I have yet to share with anyone else. Oh. Well, if you're willing to share it with me, I'd very much love to hear it. What is this new dream of yours? My new dream? Izumi, we can hear the PS4. I know, hold on. <laughs> so what happens afterwards? Now that I've become a top idol. Dream of more and more days just like this one, together with the producer who made me into the young woman I am today. Never changing okay. and never ending. Forever. Aw, oh, I thought we were gonna reference Idol Master 2 and her be like, I wanna go to America. <laughs> no, this scene is important. A lot of a lot of the a lot of the dialogue in these story arcs, a lot, of, a lot of the lines in these story arcs are connected to each other. When you translate, when you eventually get through translating the whole thing, you'll see how a lot of them build upon each other. Or rather, you'll see how a lot of them can build upon each other. And I like to think I like to think it enhances the experience to make them build on each other as much as you can. Well, yeah, that's just good writing. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um... <laughs> hey, you want more Leon in your life? Leon! After you... Yay! The week after you clear your first title extreme and come back to the office, you get this scene. Oh, yay. All right. Last week was great, but that's no reason to slow down now. Time for another week of managing my idols just like always. <sighs> Honestly, I'm still having a little trouble coming down from the elation of winning the Idol Extreme, but I won't be of any help to the girls if I don't switch gears and... Uh... Hmm? Mm. <sighs> Sheesh, that is one gorgeous looking car. What's it doing stopping in front of our office? Is this the kind of is this the kind of client we're attracting these days? Yo! Oops. Yo! 
My congratulations to you and your new top idol. Kept me waiting. Leon? Why would you come all the way out to our front door? Uh-oh. Was our victory at the Idol Extreme actually invalid or something? Not that I know of. All I'm here for is to leave you my best wishes. Maybe a bit of a reintroduction on top of that. Reintroduction? Sorry, I was reading the... <laughs> yeah. I was there. Your performance left me shivering for hours. Even now, just thinking back on it sets all five senses on fire. There is no rank between us anymore. Not after you've dominated an idol extreme. The time is now. I am Leon, and I want you to dance with me. No ranks, no stakes, no qualifications. Just two prismatic maelstroms of sound raging against each other full force. And the entire world to light up in the crossfire. Uh... So... What? <laughs> you're saying you acknowledge us as being worthy to witness the greatest force you're capable of bringing to bear on the stage. In other words, it's time to start worrying. <laughs> if you're in the mood, find one of my festivals sometime and sign up. It'll be fun, I'm sure, for me. And for you, my friend. That is not what it kind of sounds like. <laughs> That's right. This is no time to be feeling pleased with ourselves. There are always bigger and better things out there to shoot for. The new legends my idols and I are creating together. Maybe, just maybe, the day I once never dared to dream would come is no longer that far off. And they'll finally be within reach of the ultimate legend. And that's not all. Every time, every time you clear the idol extreme with a new idol, you get a scene like this. Good morning! Once again, allow me to congratulate you on a job phenomenally well done last week, including your first ever victory at the Idol Extreme! Congratulations, uh. producer son! Thank you both. To think that our humble agency has at long last given birth to a genuine top idol, Oh, I couldn't be more beside myself. Make no mistake, it was entirely your contributions that made this day possible. You've done us all a tremendous service, and you have my sincerest thanks. No, it wasn't entirely me, sir. I only succeeded because you two were so willing to throw your support behind my efforts as well. I owe both of you my sincere, humble gratitude. I... I didn't even really do anything, though. Thank you so much, Producer-san! Wop! Please don't start crying now, Otanashi-san! We, we, we can't afford to yet. We've still got a long way to go. I don't know about you, but I'm not about to be satisfied getting just one top idol out of this agency. What do you say? Let's keep working hard to make the rest of those girls' dreams come true together. Keep making dreams come true... together? Producer son, you big tease! What? Oh no, it is, of course, just as you say. There was never any end in sight on the path ahead of us yet, even after your achievement last week. I look forward to your continued best efforts. I won't let you down, sir. Okay, on to connections we go. Woo! <laughs> I think I can see one of the girls over there, just standing around? Is she waiting on somebody else to go home with tonight? Uh, uh, producer, I see you finished working. So, um... I was wondering if that was you, Chihaya. What's going on? Are you waiting for one of the other girls to finish so you can go home together? I'm not. I mean... No, that's not the case. Um, I was merely of a mind to hand this over to you and then... 
uh, a present for me, I take it. Is it really something so extravagant that it calls for you to be this nervous? Oh. Absolutely not. It, it's far from a lavish gift, or that is to say, not not to say that it's a gift of inferior quality, but there's nothing major or minor about it. It is simply or completely ordinary. Average, regular, normal, standard, and uh, other words that mean the opposite of weird. I apologize. It appears I'm having difficulty maintaining my composure. Here I was hoping I could just nonchalantly give this to you and then walk away like it was no big deal. I, um... I mean, I, I, I'll accept it gratefully, I'm just not sure I understand what the problem is. Do you have a fever or something? That may very well be the case, but I'll be alright. I'm sure all I need is to go home and lie down in order for it to subside. That is all, producer. Right. Take care of yourself, dear. I hope to see you feeling better again tomorrow. So this is a writing quirk I just happened to stumble upon for Jihaya. Mm. She normally has a very precise way of speaking. She always finds the exact word to convey exactly what she wants to. Unless she's flustered. Yes, but when she gets flustered, she I get I gave her this tendency to start rattling off a whole bunch of different words that all mean the same thing. <laughs> What is this shop? It looks like a beauty salon, or could it be an establishment that performs plastic surgery? Chihaya? This is kind of a rare sight. Has that beauty shop caught your attention? Producer! N no, it's not as though my interest has been piqued or anything. The storefront merely happened to come into my field of view. Although, I suppose I can somewhat understand the feelings of people who frequent such places. It's just one more way to draw nearer to your ideal self, should that be your inclination. Yep, we all have someone we'd most like to be, whether it's what's on the inside or what's on the outside that matters to you. Or both. I suppose this is only purely a, hypothet a hypothetical scenario, but suppose for the sake of argument that I were to decide I wanted to do something to change my outward appearance, what would you suggest I pay particular attention to? How do I think you should change how you look? Hmm. In your case... Eh. Nothing in particular comes to mind. That strikes me as rather inatten a, a rather inattentive assessment. Somehow I come under the impression I'm being picked on. Hmm? <clears throat> I didn't really mean it that way, though. I seriously don't think there's anything major you need to do to your appearance. You're fine just the way you are. <clears throat> I mean, we've kind of talked about this before with your hair, but I look at you now and everything about you is perfect and beautiful. Why would I want you to change that? Current Chihaya is best Chihaya. Is that so? I, I appreciate you saying so, but at the same time, hearing you heap such high praises on me isn't exactly the most comfortable of situations to be in either. It's like I'm being picked on in a different sense of the term. I don't mind if it's just you being a jerk. Please, go ahead and toss out a suggestion at me. First thing that comes to your mind. It'll be an interesting conversation starter, okay? Alright. Your figure. D jerk. You know, <laughs> there, there was only so much longer she could drag out this conversation before, we sh before she was just asking me to say it. Here I was trying to be as politely vague as possible for her. There is nothing wrong with her figure. Everyone knows she's self-conscious about her chest. <laughs> yeah, so I know. There's nothing wrong with her figure. No, there is not. I would kill to be that skinny. So you wouldn't mind at shrinking her boobs? Honestly, I'd probably have less back pain. <laughs> oh, by the way. Yes? 
I meant to change that background music. I don't... I... I actually forgot to turn the sound on to record the uh, beauty salon connection scene, so I don't know what background music goes with it. I couldn't find a recording of it online. Oh no. Oh no! Chihaya? We don't usually happen across each other at the supermarket. What are you up to? Producer, good evening. I was just gathering ingredients for tonight's dinner for myself. Although, to be perfectly precise, it might be better for me to say... Tonight's dinner and tomorrow's breakfast. Whenever I make for, di make for dinner one evening, I usually finish the rest of it the following morning. You make enough to have the same thing twice in a row? Wow. You must be pretty good at making stuff you really like. Not necessarily. The fact is, most meal recipes simply aren't written to be prepared for a single person, and adjusting them on the fly is a rather inexact science that's frequently more trouble than it's worth. So I just save the leftovers for the next day. It's quite possible it would be more efficient for me to do less cooking for myself and eat out more often, but that is also something I would prefer not to have to do. Hmm. I'm guessing something must have motivated you to get into the habit of cooking for yourself in the first place, when, when you were already so busy with work and school. Or is that just sort of how it turned out? Correct. That's just what ended up happening. I'd rather not break the habit now that it has, though. I feel like it would be too difficult for me to pick up again otherwise. And well, for a girl of my particular disposition to lose the ability to even cook, that strikes me as a one-way ticket to being done for the rest of my life. Alone? What? <laughs> To being alone for the rest of my life. You're done for the rest of your life, G.I. <laughs> uh, so I'll admit it's a bit of a fixation for me. I haven't given up on there coming coming a day when I'm able to enjoy company at the dining table. C keep this conversation just between us, would you? I know. I won't tell anyone else, I promise. Everyone has their own little reasons for living out their lives the way they do. I learned one more little thing about Chihaya today. Another year, another uneventful Valentine's Day. Well... I suppose I may as well go home and start eating all this friend zone chocolate. Which I got from all the girls except one. Though, considering who we're talking about, I think she can be forgiven for bucking the tradition. Uh, um, oh, producer. How very much of a coincidence that you and I would be the last two people to leave the office today. Yes, an absolute and indubitable coincidence. Uh, I guess, if you say so. Not sure why you're so insistent on that point, though. Are you feeling alright, Chihaya? You, you realize that I, too, am an idol, and as such, I can hardly be yeah. called... It, it can hardly be called inappropriate for me to be mindful of the spirit of the season, or, I mean, appropriate for me not to, and so, um... This has been prepared f for me, for, for you, by me, in keeping with that. Though I would understand perfectly if you didn't need it, having already received more than you can reasonably be expected to carry. Chihaya, thank you. I know you're not the type of person to go along with these traditions, so it really means a lot that you would do this for me. So, um... I can't help but notice it's in a heart-shaped box. I can promise you the packaging holds no special significance. If you must know, I chose that box because I wanted something trendy enough to avoid raising eyebrows at the checkout counter. Also, it was probably the only thing available on short notice. Uh, uh, alright, uh... <clears throat> anyway, uh, you seem quite agitated at the moment. Are, are you going to be okay going home like this? Would you like me to walk you to the station? Please don't. I would prefer that you not 
look at me for the time being, if at all possible. Also, you are forbidden from telling anyone else this ever happened. That's all! R right. But Chihai, remember to watch where you're walking. You might want to calm yourself down or at least get your face out of your hands before you crash into something! You've got a chocolate microphone. Yeah, microphones are the only chocolate in this game. Low. But it's just flavor texting it up. The chocolate microphones do something to help you when you use them from the item menu. I forget what, though. Oh, right. Chihaya. Sorry to spring this on you all of a sudden, but I simply cannot let the day end without giving you this. A present? Whatever for producer. I can't recall there being any particular occasion. Mm, let's just call it a tangible expression of my gratitude. You know, for the hard work you put in every day. I know I have it here somewhere. Of the three things I thought to get her, the one I decided she would be happiest with was... Here, I got you a supply of vitamin supplements. For when you don't feel like you can stomach a full meal. Thank you very much. You're exactly right. These will be quite helpful. How did you know I take supplements? I, I didn't. It was just an educated guess based on what I've happened to notice about your eating habits. I kind of have to be able to figure these things out in order to do my job properly, you know. Yes, but I do still think it's impressive that you were able to draw that conclusion from nothing but sparse, incidental observation. It'll be more than happy. I'll be there. I'll be more than happy to accept. Wow, she ended up even more delighted with it than I thought she'd be. This is what happens when we take the time to think about who you're buying for. It does. It, it's called her birthday, but they don't explicitly say anything about her birthday. Right. So about that, um, all of the girls, once you get to rank A, have this scene that. Can, that you can only get on the week of their birthday, where you give them a birthday present, and it never gets acknowledged in the game t in in the dialogue. I'm pretty sure, but if you have the email DLC, mm -hmm. which will um, have the girls be sending you text messages to your phone, quote unquote, throughout the game as different things happen, mm -hmm. they'll they'll remember that it was their birthday and acknowledge and thank you for the birthday gift in that. Oh, uh, okay. It's kind of weird how they set it up, but there you have it. We don't have the text message DLC, by the way. I do, but... Oh, you do? It would, be, it would just add so much... Voice acting? More impossible logistics to the recording. Yeah, I can understand translating that. Translating and the... I, I, I didn't do it in Idol Master 2, and I'm certainly not about to start doing it now. I think it would have been cool to include it for, like, the important events. Like the birthday. The, ra the rank up events. Anything to do with Leon. You know, stuff like that. Important shit, yeah. not the little stuff. Yeah, I can see that. Unfortunately, I never did once think about it like that myself. And it's a little late to start now. Yeah. We can always go back and do it another time. You want to make me do even more writing? <laughs> I'm kidding. Not right now. I'm kidding. I do love working on this show. It's just a lot of writing. Anyway. Well, that's it for Idle Extreme. Next time, we will be bringing you... The DLC episodes for Chihaya. Yay! And least... a very special recording. Yep. At least as far as we can get into them. We'll see how far that is in a reasonable Yay! amount of time. It'll be in a few weeks. Look forward to it. We'll see you guys next time. Remember, so then... There's no stream this Saturday. Yes, there is no stream this Saturday, and Sunday is up in the air. Um, At the moment. It all depends on what time Hana and I get back and how... And, and how tired. How much alive they are. But in the meantime, Matane. Jane. Good night. Night. Hey guys, do you like our content? Do you want to support the show? 
Click the link in the description below to visit our donation page. All proceeds go towards new and better equipment and games you want to see us play. Everyone who donates will get a special shout out at the end of future videos, and we're currently working on setting up some special perks for you. If you don't want to donate, that's okay too! You can support us by subscribing and clicking that bell icon so you get notified whenever we put out a new video. Thanks for joining us today, fans! Did you know we do a lot more than manage idols on our channel? Check out Izumi Reviews Me for anime reviews, product reviews, and more! I'd prefer not to direct too much attention away from our singing. By selecting the box on the left, one may view our previously completed Idol Master dubs. And of course, we'll see you next time.